What up, Clash of Clans? This is Gromit here with another COC video. I'm gonna come to you live with a brand new war uh, recap on Smash Base, guys. We got some wonderful attacks for you. We got a Govaho, we got a Goho, we got uh, some dragon attacks. We also got a uh, Lava Lunian, and then we also got a uh, Drag Lunian or Drag Loon. This is our fourth installment of this war. We did fantastic. 72-67 victory. Uh, this is pretty good. 98% from us. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Our enemy had the last top three that still needed a three-star. Those are some tough bases that we got there. Uh, I have one in the mix that's going to be a really good tough base. I'm going to be creating pretty soon, and hopefully it works out pretty well. So far, nobody's been able to crack it. And then here's us. Um, that's our, that we couldn't get those two bases. It was just really, really, really tough. Uh, I even had a hard time on uh, number two. Couldn't even do it. P. Combs is a hero on this one, 90%, which is fantastic. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at uh, our surefire winners here with Gromit here coming in with this wonderful three star attack. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Lava Lunian again. I, I told you how much I just love this attack. Uh, there's other variations I gotta I'd definitely try, uh, but this base was just spread out just a perfect amount to do it so I send in a couple loons over there with a the haste to be able to draw out the CC CC gets drawn out I'm hoping to take out more then I'm gonna drop my king onto this other side over here and um, that will allow my uh, hopefully to draw that CC all the way over to him and my goal is to try to get this uh, queen over here too but this queen is just really in there deep so I sent my queen too to help be able to take out the uh, dragon while my king is tanking for it. Uh, then um, right away I'm going to go ahead and use his ability. I'm going to send a bunch of loons over here. I'm heading on the right side a lot tougher because of how much I got to go through. And I go ahead and haste these guys right in. I sent a couple lava loon, lava hounds right in there to get those ADs. So the ADs are targeting those lava hounds, hasting these loons in real fast. They're splitting off in different directions, taking out what they need to take out. Now they are a little clumped, but I mean for the happen, I always reserve some of the uh, loons in the back end, hasting them through the space, just trying to get them through as quick as I can. Uh, checking on my queens, making sure everything's good, checking on my king, which is dead now. A couple of loons from the back side, going ahead and haste them back through on the other side to help with this cleanup, so it kind of pinches everything towards the center here. The enemy queen is still hammering down on my guys, but... Um, I'm, I'm sitting there, I was worried about that for a second, but it doesn't matter. Uh, my loons hit this haste. Nope, they don't hit the haste. They actually just come right in and they annihilate the queen. The queen's gone. Everything else is just pure cleanup. Not much left here. Uh, and everything cleans up perfectly well for a nice, perfect three-star by me. All right. Uh, there you have it. The final blow. Done. All right. Let's take a look here now at the next attack I got lined up for you. This is my boy Beetle. All right, Beetle. This guy's got some amazing attacks and he always varies them. So right now he's going to do a Queen Walk Goho. So he's going to uh, go ahead and Quake uh, one of the corners right out, which opens his base wide up and leaves an outside ring, which is perfect for Hogs. Uh, you want to look for opportunities for that. Uh, he goes instead and sends in his queen for his queen walk. His queen is just going to fly through the space, just tearing up this whole left side here. And uh, But he doesn't have an actual rage spell, so that's a little bit dangerous because uh, you want to be able to rage her at least one more time to get the most value out of a queen walk. Um, but he's just going straight here. Uh, so eventually he has to use his ability. He does use his ability. And you're hoping for the longevity of his life. So now that he sends in his uh, golems in here. With some wizards to be able to clean up the junk bases on the back end. As these golems are coming right in. CC's coming out. That queen's about to die. That queen is, cannot take any more. I was hoping it would actually survive. It just needed one more shot to blow up that cannon. It would have survived. Uh, a bunch of loons came up in the back end. And he's going to go ahead and send some wall breakers in. And then he's got a heal spell in there. Basically to try to help everything out in this core. Now everything doesn't look too hot. But he sends in all his hogs towards this one compartment over here. And he hammers through them. Then he heals them. Uh, because of what's going on in there. And then... Um, they actually just run forward because they're going towards the uh, main core of the base and um, drops another heal and potential where they're going to go which has another bomb which ends up saving their life because of that uh, heal spell so then uh, 
the queen is hammering down, took down the queen, and that queen is the evil queen is going to go after the uh, the golem there while all these hogs are trying to clear out the last uh, few defenses in this apartments. And then here they come. Uh, again, that golem is just totally tanking. Uh, it's not looking good. Another huge bomb blow explosion for the hogs. Hogs take about half their life damage, and this is where it gets really cool. This is where the queen gets the biggest headache in the world. A bunch of hammers slashing down on her head. That was fantastic. So now everything is just a pure cleanup. Uh, all of them just go flying through the space real fast with this cleanup. Perfect little three star by my boy, Beetle. Congratulations, Beetle, dude. You rock. Thank you for the three stars. Keep it up, buddy. All right. Going on to our next attack here. Uh, this is my uh, boy Beetle again with his Beetle number three account. Uh, you know, Beetle's been really rocking it, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what he's got going on for us. He has got a dragon attack. He's going to Dragon Quake. Now he's going to Lightning twice on that one, and then he Lightnings on twice on that one, and then he was able to use one Earthquake spell to take them both down. That was a fantastic move there, Beetle. And then he's going to send in his Dragons to try to clear up this little junk bases right here to get these last two little ADs. Uh, he's, saying he's holding back on some of those loons, I mean not loons, so his uh, Dragons on purpose so he can actually uh, send them in at the right moment, which he does. He sends them in right towards the center. Here comes the CC, which is another Dragon. Uh, he, then he sends in a bunch of loons, and then he sends a rage spell, and then um, I don't know why he didn't use his uh, poison yet, but that's all right. I guess he was thinking of using it later. There it goes, his poison. Helped him out taking that dragon a little bit faster. Uh, and he's, everything's flying around, coming around, wrapping around, being able to take down those Teslas, and also all the ADs are gone. So this is just now just flying through the base, so it's whatever it is is happening is just gonna be based upon these loons and these dragons here. Now a lot of them are very low health, and uh, if you see here, there's only like four dragons or five dragons left. Uh, this base has still got two Three, and it's got quite a bit of defenses left, so this is when it starts looking sketchy again. But he starts sending in his king and to help out with getting the proper funneling. And here comes the dragons. I'm, I'm speeding it up because I really want to get through this. And their uh, dragons are flying through the space now, and everything's being burned up and there's not much left and I know he was running real close to the actual timer of the game but he does get that three star congratulations beetle dude you rock thank you for getting those three stars buddy all right let's go ahead and take a look here at um, our next attack Mido my buddy my pal my friend my confident Mido she's going actually for a goho so um, she's going to send a bunch of golems right here two golems right here She's sending even a wizard in the back to help get that junk defense. A wizard's up here to help assist those uh, golems. They're flying through this base, just tearing everything up. And then she uh, even sends a wizard off to the other side. Some wall breakers to help break into the other compartment and all the way inside. CC comes out, so then she's going to drop the poison. And then she's going to drop the king and the queen to be able to help uh, with the actual CC. And then the, the, dra the hogs come in. Yes, that's right. Tons of hogs. Uh, she go ahead and... Uh, places down a heel to be able to rally a lot of those hogs so that they can actually get it and then she does a jump spell so the king can actually jump into the corner and help out with those hogs and tank for them which is working out very well and uh, hogs are going around the outside being able to take out the defenses she drops a heel to be able to heal them up keep them well healed up right there and uh, especially towards the core and then the dragon, I mean not the dragons, the hogs are continuously flowing around and they're coming back through and they're just taking out these defenses left and right, left and right. And it's just a few more left and then it's purely cleanup. I got the golems going on the backside, going after the archer tower. I mean everything is just happening perfect. The queen's coming in, the queen's coming after the last archer tower and all the defenses are gone and now it's just purely cleanup. Everybody is just working real hard and smashing everything through. There's not much left over. And uh, we're almost done here with the perfect three star. Queen goes over, gets that last remaining base, and that's it. Game over, son. It is done. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the next one here. And it's Big Spice. Big Spice, we haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Welcome to the big leagues. All right, so this is when him going with his uh, Drag La Loon. Drag Laloon. So he zap quakes one of the ADs out. And then I believe he zap quakes another one out. Or at least quakes out another one. 
and so there's only two 80s left so then now he's going to go ahead and try to create a funnel he's going to get rid of some junk bases and allow the dragons to do some work first that's right down here in the corner as you can see here so he's just trying to clear up an area so he has a whole huge area to bis and a whole bunch of dragons and loons in uh, he drops his um, poison spell and drops another dragon to be able to assist to be able to take out that CC and then the king on the opposite side to make sure that the, everything's properly funneled in the right direction and then he sends his queen to help with that and then he sends in the dragon and some loons following right after now what I recommend as soon as he actually dropped the loons he should have dropped the lava hound along with it and then dropped some more dragons right behind that but um Anyways, doesn't matter. He gets a three star on this, so three star is a three star. So he uh, hastes the moons all the way through, and the dragons are flying through right behind, and uh, he's totally wrecking and clearing up his base, getting everything ready to go, and even sends in another CC amount of loons. So um, it seems like he had some objectives to take out. He did. He came, saw, he conquered, and now it's just the uh, few last defenses and cleanup. So, yeah, they just fly right through the space. And there you go, look at it. And they still got almost most of those loons up still running, which is good because that's what helped them be able to get this three star. Just having those loons still live. You know, you can even have a heal spell just for that. But um, there you have it. Another perfect three star win. Big Spice, thank you, buddy. Fantastic job. Keep up the good work. All right. And uh, that was. Uh, our fifth installment so let's do one more one more one more and uh, let's do master savage we haven't done master savage in a while let's take a look at master savage what he's got going on he's doing a, a yeah it looks like another one of those uh, uh lava i mean uh drag la loon <laughs> so he zap quakes one of the ad's and he was hoping to damage the other one too enough to be able to zap quake it out um but yeah he does he could do that you could do it. Come on, buddy. Get rid of that last one. All right. Um, so he decided to keep it because it's right on the edge, which I don't blame him because that's a little easier to get than the one over here in the back. He's zap quaking that one gone. So most likely he's going to be doing his attack from up here in the front. So um, that's the way I would go. But no, he goes over here off to the side, uh, which is unusual. And so he sends all of its dragons, almost blobs them together and some loons. Then his king, his queen goes in. Uh, they're flying through this base, you know, just being able to take out whatever they can. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's really much that could stop them except for just the defenses that are there. Naturally, which we got 180 left. 180 left! And uh, so I'm a little worried for him about that, but, uh, he's got those loons. Maybe those loons are the ones that are going to end up doing something about it. Anyways... Um, so yeah, here they come. Here they come. Look how close this is. This is it, gentlemen. This is it. Oh, he got them in there. So now, uh, yeah, it's just purely clean up. Uh, a few bases left over, but I mean, there's nothing they could do. I mean, they got the lava hounds there that are flying and soaking up all the damage and taking whatever abuse comes their way. And the dragons are just coming right behind that, you know, just ransacking and blowing things up. So, yeah, um, I, I, it's a fantastic skill if you can get lava hounds and uh, dragons at the same time it's a lot better than you think so uh, there you go another perfect wonderful three star attack by master savage all right guys now let's go and um, I always like to showcase the, our most powerful attack um, I don't choose this this is what supercell chooses so uh, this is kind of interesting uh, it's Pico Gromage. Pico Gromage it came in here with a dragon attack. Um, this one was an interesting one because of the base layout. They were trying to get me to go a certain specific direction. I decided, you know what, I'm going to go against the grain and go the way I want to. I saw a perfect little pathing for the loons to be able to travel, and I was hoping I can actually hit that up pretty good. So I zap quake one of the ADs away. Uh, that's gone. I sent some dragons to clear out the junk bases to create a proper funnel. After the proper funnel has been created, I sent in some more loons and dragons. And so this is vitally important that you actually work in this process, you know, uh, that you actually send in the uh, uh, the loons, then the lava hound, and then the dragons. Or you send some dragons, then the loons, and the lava hound, if you have a lava hound. Otherwise, you just send the loons right after them. And so uh, the loons are coming through. I uh, haste them through. 
a little bit, and then uh, they're just going for the uh, defense on the outside. And this is when uh, my whole plan just goes to hell. Uh, it's just they're look at the loons team and take out that AD. That was the plan. That was their goal was to take out that AD, and they failed on their goal. But they took out a bunch of other defense along the way, so I'm just like, I don't know, this could be really bad. And uh, the Dragons are just working really hard to try and take down that AD that was failing to take it down. And um, yeah, I was really worried because look at my Dragons, they're slowly dying. And then still got a little bit of base left, but it doesn't matter. Everything works out fine. I'm going to go ahead and show you the cleanup for this. Uh, it worked out perfectly because that's another perfect 3-star by Pico. Uh, anyways, if you guys like this video, you can go ahead and smash that like button. If you uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to our account, uh, share with your friends, um, leave a comment, and uh, check out our sponsors, guys. Uh, really support us by uh, if you shop online, shop through my Amazon link. Uh, that way, a portion of the uh, commissions go to uh, the actual channel guys it's not going to increase what your cost is it's the same Amazon prices I just get paid a small commission on whatever is purchased through my link so link it so that way we can get some choice content on here for you anyways as always ladies and gentlemen I love you guys keep on clashing and smash base